Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we'll be covering scary knockouts in MMA that broke opponents. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. We have watched many knockouts flatten a fighter. Some fighters are even hella disoriented after, but how about the knockouts that literally have opponents fold or bent as if they're broken? It's a rare sight to see, but it has happened on some of the world's biggest stages. For this video, we have compiled a list of instances where MMA fighters got hit with something insanely powerful where it caused their whole body to bend or fold over right when they got hit. Number 12, Bebulat Asayev. Bebulat Asayev hit his opponent so hard, his skull bounced off the canvas like a basketball. You've got to plant yourself. You've got to stay on the inside. Oh, that's why. Forget about it. Isayev's brutal knockout took place at the One Championship Unbreakable 2 event in Singapore. The contest only lasted 82 seconds as Isayev hit his opponent with the right hand so powerful and knocked the spit out of his opponent's mouth and sent him crashing to the floor in an awkward fashion. Kechoyevich fell so hard that when he face planted the deck, his head ricocheted off the ground and back into the air, he was out cold. Number 11, Colin Reuter. Got no words for this one. Early in the first round, Reuter caught his opponent Gerald Fike on the head with the right hand during a bout on the solid as a rock fighting championship card. It wasn't the punch though that was so memorable, instead it was Fike's reaction. He fell backwards after taking the shot, as he did he arched his back, he then hit the canvas face first with his head. His feet were firmly on the ground but his legs, butt and back were off the mat. Number 10 Lyoto Machida On to one of the scarier knockouts. Another shot. He's getting teed off on. He's down. That's it. He's and out. It is all over. He's out. Lyoto Machida. The fight ended in the second round, but the exchange was not over as Lyoto moved in for the kill, throwing a flurry of punches that landed with yet another hard left, sending him to the ground and out of the fight. In a show of pinpoint striking, the former light heavyweight champion showed why he was one of the most difficult fighters in the sport to face. Number nine, Matt Brown. He's gonna look for that elbow. He's out! Referee steps in, Matt the Immortal Brown! Matt Brown brought an end to a three-fight skid at UFC Fight Night 110 in Virginia as he brutally KO'd fellow grizzled veteran Diego Sanchez with an elbow strike that was paradoxically both beautiful and sickening all at once. Brown caught the left leg of Sanchez as he threw a roundhouse kick and then pushed the nightmare back towards the fence before firing off a powerful, precise elbow that instantly robbed Sanchez of his consciousness. Number 8, Kevin Bostic. He needs to look to stand up right now. This is his opening, and he does. Yeah, Bostic finally gets out. He's on a single leg, gives it up, and now he's in the clinch. Elbow! And oh. that's it! Just like that! Kevin Bostic took on Chris Costello under the BAMMA promotion, seeking to extend his two-fight win streak. And he did so in emphatic style, grappling his way free from a potentially dangerous position on the canvas to regain his footing against the cage. Pinning Costello to the wall with one arm, he lined up a monster elbow strike with his right arm that whacked his rival square on the chin, sending him crashing to the mat. Number 7, Miles Johns. This knockout was one of the stranger ones since the fighter's body popped up in the stranger's way. Thought about it for a second, but... Oh! oh that's it! Right, that's it! Wow! One and done! Now TV Dad controlled the pace of the fight and landed several big right hands in the third round. Regardless, it was Johns who was slicker with his jabs and slowed down quicksand with his precise striking. Johns was able to capitalize on an advancing net TV dad who was just looking to finish the fight in his favor. Needless to say, he paid a heavy price for it and succumbed to a brutal right uppercut which dropped him to the canvas. Number 6, Rose Nama Yunus. And Whaley has landed several of those inside low kicks. Rose Namajunas was once again the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion with a first round knockout win over Zhang Wei Li in the co-main event of UFC 261. One well-timed head kick was all it took for Rose to put the champion down and reclaim her belt. Zhang was left stunned by what happened, arguing to the ref about the finish despite wobbling on her feet even after the fight. After the kick would land on Wei Li's face, the kick seemed to lift her off her feet just as her legs would fold back. Number 5, Ang Lan Song. This knockout literally turned the fighter into a slinky.
Exhausted but spurned on by the Raj's crowd, Angla and Song found a home for his hands until Hasegawa could no longer take the punishment. As the Japanese martial artist wobbled around the one circle, Angla and Song finally was able to connect with a show-stopping right uppercut that planted his most formidable challenge to date face down on the canvas. Number 4 Elias Hamzin In his matchup against Dmitry Gavrilov, Ilyas hit his opponent so freaking hard that it had Dmitry stuck to the floor with his legs buckled. It all started when the fighter got his opponent near the cage and landed a straight right that landed right on the side of Dmitry's head. Even the sound the strike was able to make was insane. After he would drop, Ilyas would land one more punch for good measure till the referee would come in and break up the fight. Number 3 Kevin Holland This knockout had Sosa slum backwards. The flamboyant Holland opened the bout with a kick and was quickly taken down by Souza, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The fighters eventually grappled to a position where they were on their knees nearing the cage in front of Dana. Holland managed to get leverage on a combination that put Souza quickly to sleep. Referee Mark Smith dove between the fighters at 1 minute and 45 seconds of the first to stop it as Souza slumped over unconscious. Number 2 Francis Ngannou By the end of the night, he turned into masterpiece, knocking out Stipe Miocic with a brutal series of strikes that left Miocic unconscious and Ngannou as UFC heavyweight champion. The Cameroonian fighter had his opponent on the ropes in the second round before unleashing a devastating left hand that finished the fight. It was one of the most brutal knockouts of the year so far, and it was even more terrifying in slow motion. Number 1 Tank Abbott Of course we have to have Tank Abbott on this list. It literally looked like Abbott had just killed his opponent with a single punch when he landed a thunderous right hook and Nelmark ragdolled to the ground with his legs tucked underneath him and his head leaning off to the side at an alarming angle against the cage. Referee Big John McCarthy quickly rearranged Nelmark's apparently lifeless body out on the mat as people in the crowd yelled he's dead. But thankfully that wasn't the case. And that right there concludes this video. If you made it this far, please let us know how we did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.